Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanna keep today's intro really short because we have a ton to get done. There's gonna to be tons of cleaning, organizing, motivation in today's video. I wanna deep clean, I want to organize and declutter. Basically, spring clean the entire house because it needs it so bad. We are home every day, all day, as I'm sure most of you guys are. So if you need motivation to tackle projects around your house, this is the video for you. I wanted to thank RoboRock for sponsoring today's video. I will talk more about them in just a minute, but let's go ahead and get started. So before I start tackling some projects around the house, I turned on my RoboRock, so it's one less thing that I have to do. RoboRock also allows you to set a timer for the vacuum to automatically activate and vacuum your home. As I mentioned, this is such a convenient option and saves me a few minutes while doing other stuff around the house. The intelligent navigation technology allows your home to be precisely mapped where various parts are identified with sensors for a complete clean. There's also a carpet mode setting where Roborock will recognize our carpet and automatically switch to maximum suction. And the navigation sensors also keep the vacuum from crashing into our walls and falling down the stairs. Another one of my favorite features is the mopping setting because I hate mopping. So Roborock contains water pumps for controlled water flow and allows for different water levels to be used in different rooms depending on your floors. And as you may have noticed, our home is both a mix of carpet and wood. So this setting is super helpful. And then the last feature I wanted to highlight for you guys is the no-go zone area. So this setting keeps the Robo Rock from vacuuming any restricted areas. For example, areas where the kids may be playing or a specific rug that I may not want to be vacuumed. All you have to do is move the red grid box over the specific area and it will be recognized as a no-go zone. So I love how I can just let the Robo Rock run and do its thing while I move on to another project, which is really convenient. So I'm like killing two birds with one stone. So if you guys are interested in a Robo Rock, they are currently on sale at walmart.com right now. So you guys can click the link in the description box to get $50 off your Robo Rock. And thank you again to Robo Rock for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and move on to the first project of the day, which is going through my makeup drawer and reorganizing and just decluttering and cleaning that space out because I have been putting that off for so long. So this is the current state of my makeup drawer. I have these clear acrylic organizers in here, but when I was doing a lot of traveling before all of this um, virus stuff broke out, um, I was just keeping my makeup in my pouches because I was traveling so much. So it's kind of pointless for me to unpack it all. So I still haven't unpacked it and like put it back where it belongs and it's just so dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like powder and stuff everywhere and I have not wiped this stuff down in so long. So that is the first thing we're gonna accomplish today. Okay, I just took everything out. This is literally all the makeup that I own. I don't own a ton of makeup, but look at how gross this is. So I'm gonna take these out. I'm probably gonna wash them in the sink and then let them air dry and then um, wipe down all of my makeup and go through it. And there's a lot of stuff that I can just toss because a lot of this stuff is so old.
wipe down the drawer and the acrylic cases. I washed those out and so they're all nice and clean now. So now I'm going to organize my makeup a little bit better. I wiped down all of my makeup as well, so everything is all clean. I recently washed my makeup brushes. I probably should do it again, but I'm not going to do that in this video. I'll probably do that in the next couple weeks or so. But I'm just going to put everything back in here and hopefully it looks a lot better. Okay, so here is what my makeup drawer looks like now. Everything is all clean and organized. So I put my lipsticks back in there. They were up here before, but now I just have the two lip glosses that I use all the time. And then I put my lip liners down here. I don't know where all my lip products go. Actually, I do. The girls constantly get in my makeup drawer and then ruin all of my lipsticks and lip liners and stuff. So a lot of them I have to toss because they end up <laughs> ruining them, but that's okay. Um, so everything that I use, this is pretty much stuff I use like every single day. I don't really hoard makeup. I have a few palettes back there that honestly never get touched because I don't really ever wear eyeshadow. Um, but everything has a home now and everything's all clean. So I am so happy I finally took care of that. Okay, now moving into the kids' bedrooms, I'm going to go through each of their dressers and get rid of the clothes that no longer fit them and organize their drawers a lot better because this is a before. This is her pajama drawer. This is her pant drawer. <laughs> so bad. It used to be all clean and organized and now it's a disaster. This is like her bloomer drawer, but it looks like there's just a bunch of random things thrown in here. Um, bows and socks are in this one. And then she has shoes down here and most of these don't even fit her anymore. So I need to go through that as well. And then I think this one's empty. Yeah, this one's empty and this one has her pull-ups in there for nighttime. And then this just has um, like diaper pail refills. I don't know why there's a random sock in here. But there's just so much more space that I could be utilizing. So I'm gonna downsize a lot and just consolidate and organize the drawers a lot better so I got these drawer organizers I think I got these from Amazon or Target I can't remember I got them a while ago and they've just been sitting in our master closet so I'm gonna use them for the kids drawers I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to do both the kids dressers Grayson's is already pretty organized but I think I'm probably gonna use both of these for shades and then I'll just order two more for Bailey's we'll see what I end up doing but we're gonna start with Shay's room first. And then I have all her clothes. Most of them are hung up in her closet, but I would say like 40% of this stuff doesn't fit her anymore. So I need to go through this and put it in storage bins or donate it. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I need to go through this as well desperately. Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go. Let's get 
guess I'm gonna stay put I'm just gonna wait in the background Watching you talk to her I know this might look bad But I'm just gonna melt in the background Watching you lean into her Okay, I went through her drawers and reorganized them, so I'm gonna show you guys what they look like now. So in this drawer, I have all of her bloomers. In this drawer, I have her tights and ballet tights. This one is empty. This one has her pull-ups and then her diaper pail liners behind that. I went through her bows, so she's no longer wearing the headbands anymore, obviously, so I got rid of all of those, and they're right there in a pile. I'm not going to donate these or get rid of them. I'm going to probably put them in a bin just in case our next baby is a girl. There's so many cute bows in there, so I'm not going to get rid of those yet. Um, but I did go through and just organize them a little bit better. So she wears clips in her hair now, so I have all of her clip bows right here. There's also more in Bailey's room, too. They share bows now. Um, her socks in there, um, I still need to do her laundry, so she has a ton more socks, so that'll fill up quick. Some mittens and then some barrettes in that one. And then down here, I don't have anything in this drawer. And then in this drawer, I have her pajamas. And again, she has so many more pajamas in the dirty hamper right here, so after I do laundry, this will fill up probably completely full. I need to get more of these um, drawer dividers for sure because this drawer is going to fill up very quickly. Um, I use the rest of the drawer dividers down here. As you can see, she has a lot of pants. So um, I have leggings over here. Those three back there are skirts. And then like black leggings, gray leggings, jeans, jean shorts, and then joggers right here. So, yeah, this is going to fill up really quickly, too, because I think she has a few in her hamper. But there is a little bit more space in here, so I think it should work out fine. So this is everything that I'm getting rid of. Every single pair of shoes that was in that bottom drawer no longer fits her. Her feet went through a major growth spurt over the last few months. So I'm going to be donating all of this stuff, and then um, we're going to move on to the closet now. So... Just gonna go through this really quickly and get rid of the things that don't fit her anymore and just organize this a little bit better. Drown yourself in the neon. You came to this place to hide away in the dark. You tell yourself you need to move on. But when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart.
So this is everything that I went through and got rid of for Shay in her closet. So all this stuff either no longer fits her anymore or is the wrong season. It's like almost 80 degrees here, probably more than that actually. It's pretty warm in Texas today, so she's not going to be wearing sweaters and coats and stuff anymore. So I took those off of the hangers and this is everything that's left in her closet. I still need to organize it obviously, but I need to go through Bailey's closet as well and then everything that doesn't fit Bailey will get passed down to Shay. I still need to do her laundry like I said, so um, a lot of this will get filled back up again, but she definitely needs more summer tops. Like she has only a few. She has a lot of dresses, but this is giving me an idea of what she really needs. So I think I'm going to pick back up in the morning with this because we're about to get the kids in the bath and I need to clean all of this up. So I'm going to break this up into two separate days, but I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's the next day now and the kids are getting ready for nap and quiet time. So I'm going to start in Bailey's room. Bailey is going to do some schoolwork downstairs with Adam for quiet time while I work on her room. And then once Shay wakes up, I'll move back into her room to finish what I started yesterday. So I'm going to do the same thing in Bailey's dresser, go through it all, organize it a bit better, and then move on to her closet. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now Keep on driving in 
made a lot of progress in Bailey's room, so this is what her closet looks like now. So I just color coordinated everything in rainbow order. So this is everything that fits her. I went through and got rid of a lot of stuff. So I have a pile for Shay. So this is everything that no longer fits Bailey, but Shay could possibly wear. And then this is for donations. So we'll probably drop this off sometime this week, hopefully. And then I also went through her drawers. So this is bathing suits, but you guys know Shay is super into bathing suits right now. So she goes through and wears them all. So a lot of them are in the wash right now. Um, socks and tights are in here and this is her pajama drawer so again i need to do laundry really bad this is jean shorts and skirts underwear and then pants down here so jeans leggings sweatpants i don't know what she did to this drawer but it looks like there's like I don't know, lotion or something down there. I try to wipe it up, but it's not budging. So no idea what that is. We're moving into Grayson's room now. So I'll show you guys what we're working with. So socks and beanies and hats up here. Pants, more hats on the side there. Onesies and shorts. I don't know why those are in here. Those are shades. <laughs> There's swaddles in this drawer, which he doesn't even use anymore. So I need to go through that desperately. Oh, more blankets in here that we never use and diapers. So desperately need to go through that. And then his closet as well. There's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't fit him. So we're gonna do the same thing again. And I think I'm just gonna start with the dresser.
this place where we grew up This old town, just leave it all behind The river's gonna cry when you're gone what Grayson's closet is looking like now so I color coordinated all of his clothes as well and I forgot that he had a ton of shoes up in that bin it wasn't labeled so <laughs> I'm finally pulling them all out he's still able to fit into all of them but I'm like kicking myself in the butt that I didn't bring them down sooner a lot of these are the girls old shoes so there's a ton of Adidas from both of them and then some Nikes these one or yeah, these ones he's gonna wear now. These can fit him like today. These he's gonna need a few months to grow into. These sandals he can fit into now, and then those moccasins he can fit into. The hunter boots are still a little big for him, but he has more shoes now. <laughs> um, and then I got him a pair for Easter, and then he has his vans, which are downstairs. I need to bring those up here. But um, there's just like random things like his hospital outfit, his hospital blanket that I brought him home in, in that miscellaneous bin, and some extra trash bins for his diaper pail. And then some bigger shoes are in that one that he doesn't fit into and that he won't for a while. And then in here I have his bibs. Um, up here are... Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to relabel that. Where's that label? Here it is. It's not the exact label, so I need to figure out how to put that on there, but this is like extra lotions and medicine dispensers and stuff. And then the bottom one is uh, pacifier clips. So all of those are in there. And then he has some extra diapers, but that is what his closet looks like. Everything is all organized now and everything in there fits him. And then in his dresser, there's not really a whole ton in here. He has some socks in there and then a pool hat and a beanie that still fits him. I don't think he'll ever wear that again though. It's pretty warm here now in Texas. But um, pants in here. There's a few shorts. These are shorts right here. And then some hats. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, he doesn't have any onesies, you guys. I really need to get him more. But he's kind of at the age where he's not really wearing a ton of onesies now. He's more like wearing shirts and shorts and pants. I didn't do anything in here. There's and throw this away but um just his diapers i can fill those up though i should probably do that and then i didn't touch this drawer because i don't know i feel like it's fine i can just leave it there they're all organized i don't think there's any oh yeah a few more swaddles and then two car seat covers which i'll never use but i have a big pile of donation and then a big pile that i think i'm just gonna save in case we have another boy um i'm just gonna put these in a bin i need to get another bin from target and then i'll do that but i'll probably just put these in a bag for now and put them in the attic and then eventually i'll organize them into a bin okay moving back into shay's room she's awake from her nap so i can work in here um i got rid of all this stuff that was in the corner a lot of this stuff belonged in the playroom i got rid of that big canopy thing um and then we're keeping these diapers in here just in case because of everything that's going on it's hard to find diapers and pull-ups and stuff so we had to dip into those because we couldn't find pull-ups for Shay the other day so I'm just gonna keep those just in case um, but I need to organize her closet and then hang up all the things that Bailey passed down to her and then her closet should be pretty good you guys already saw her dresser everything in her dresser is already organized so just working in the closet right now I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I'll watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. 
guilty Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm Okay, I'm finally done in Shay's room. So her closet is all organized in rainbow order. It looks so much better. There's a few coats on this side. She's probably not gonna wear them, but just in case I have a couple for her if it does end up getting cold. Um, all of the shoes that no longer fit her that I wanted to keep are in that bin. And then I need to go through like our attic and stuff because everything else that doesn't fit her and Grayson is all in bags and I need to find bins for those. So we'll do that a different day. But she has a sun hat up there, a couple extra blankets, a heater, which I can probably put that in the attic too. But it looks so much better in here and I'm so happy that I finally got all of the kids' closets organized and back in order. Okay, well I definitely underestimated how long that was gonna take me to declutter and organize the kids' closets. That is gonna be it for today's video. I have a lot of other things that are on my list that I want to accomplish, but I will save that for another video. I hope this gave you some cleaning motivation and inspiration to tackle projects around your house. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.